All right, when most people start uh, thinking about the election of 2020, they think presidential elections. Uh, we're not talking presidents. We're talking political, though, the politics of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Johnny Hartwell, welcome into the Mount Rushmore podcast. Uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about the inductees of 2019, and then we're going to look into the future for 2020. One, two, three, four. Welcome to the four. You're chilling in Mount Rushmore. Giant wall, wall of solid granite. Yeah, we're not we as America. We're Americans. We're the capital A. God bless America. God bless America. Let the challenges begin. There we go. Johnny Hartwell and the Mount Rushmore podcast, the definitive top four of everything. I'm Johnny Hartwell, the host. And uh, before we talk to uh, introduce my panel here today, I want to let you know that today's podcast is brought to you by Sleep Number. Sleep Number. Uh, I've been, go, Bonnie, go ahead, say. Number 40? <laughs> I My sleep 41. number setting is 40. Yes, exactly. Um, which is kind of in the middle. What's so great about a sleep number bed is that uh, both sides of the bed are adjustable. Um, if you like it firmer or softer, it's never a problem. And there's locations all over Pittsburgh. Find one near you at sleepnumber.com. All right. Our panel. Scott Tatey from uh, the Beaver County Times, a man who has seen more concerts this week than I have seen all year. <laughs> I'm a little tired, but yeah, good to see you. All right. And Bonnie, my partner in crime on uh, 94.5, welcome. Hello. And from 102.5 DVE, Mr. Afternoon, Sean McDowell. How are you? Thanks for having me, Johnny. Scott, Bonnie, great hanging out with you. All right, let's start here. The uh, Oh, Scott Tady just, Scott. he's got a drinking problem. <laughs> he spilled water all over himself. You he's going to have Scott? an electrocution problem in about one second here. It's better than Iggy Pop, I guess, with cutting himself and having blood everywhere. Okay. I'm okay. All right. It just looks awful. All right, so let's start here. The inductees of 2019, The Cure, Def Leppard, Janet Jackson, Stevie Nicks, Radiohead, Roxy Music, and The Zombies. All right, what's your, uh, what's your initial thoughts? When I posted on Facebook, it seems like Def Leppard got the most reaction. A lot of people were saying, how do you, how do you justify that? And a lot of people saying, well, they sold a billion albums. So mm -hmm. uh, I had no trouble justifying it. To me, they... They kind of took metal to a new direction. They, they made it more pop-oriented, and uh, I, I supported it. But some people were opposed to that. Right. And I think they lasted a long time, too. They didn't just do, like, a couple of albums. They were around for, for – and really went through several different periods, arm and no arm. You know, they were good. Yeah. And they kicked ass in the fan voting. The, yeah, they, they did. came out on top of the fan voting ahead of Stevie Nicks. I forget who was third. All right, so Stop Def it. Leppard. I'm a Def Leppard fan, but I'm like, meh, okay. Uh, I think I think meh is my reaction to the entire inducting, inducting class of 2019. I started to feel that way a few years ago. And I'll ask Scott and, and Bonnie this. When they inducted Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five, that's when I really began to question the integrity of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Scott, The revolution Bonnie. will not be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame televised. No, I, I don't... Um, when that's all started, that that was kind of crazy. But I would rock out to Grandmaster. Yeah, I, mean, I like him. On. However, Madonna, that she was, was next, she was the next that year. That was the end of it for me. She was the very okay. next year. And even she Janet was Jackson back this year, I uh, yeah, I uh, like uh, her, I enjoy her, but I don't. Yeah, I mean she doesn't typify that's not rock, rock and roll. Hello, Patsy Cline. Uh. Okay, Patsy Cline. I respect her. I think she did a lot of great things for women in music, but not rock and roll. If that, if you're gonna call it rock and roll, but but, but now you know, now. But, so, wait now, a minute. is okay. the Cure going right. to be inducted right. into the, the Country the Beatles, Hall of the Fame? The Beatles are the quintessential <laughs> uh, band that should be in the Rock and Roll Hall well, of Fame. Is, are but the Beatles in the Country group, Hall of Fame? Though. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I'm I'm more inclusive than you guys. But I remember early on, uh, and I'm, I'm the oldest one in the room by far, but I remember early on when the, uh, maybe about 10 years into the induction ceremony, when people started to question, should James Taylor be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Yes. Should Simon and Garfunkel be in the Rock and Roll Hall of yes. Fame? Yes. Yeah. They, I agree with you, Johnny, but there well, were I people saying, should. I agree too. But yeah, it's on part the other of my hand, rock and roll upbringing. It's not, Simon and Garfunkel weren't 
weren't really the Beatles no. and James Taylor wasn't the Rolling Stones, but now then you bring in all the Motown artists. But the Motown artists influenced all of the rockers back in the 60s. Oh, yeah, they were all part of that. We haven't even got to the top four yet uh, for 2020, which is the, the <laughs> theme of today's podcast. So uh, let's... We need a keg of beer. If we're going to talk about this, we should all start drinking. Well, uh, I, I, I'm with you. I, I mean, I've got my cup. I, I've got... Uh, I've got the uh, little Bailey's. I'm good. <laughs> no, but you know the uh, the other thing that really bugs me about this is that it's a competition. Why not just honor people instead of saying, you know, here's a list of people that we think we want to induct and then put them up against each other. Just honor five people. All right. Now we're talking our top four uh, uh, inductees for 2020. Let's go start with Scott. I have three great picks. Fourth, I struggle with. There were so many choices. I'm going to go with craft work because they're in a class by themselves. Okay, I agree. They yeah, kind of, uh, the, the whole template for that in, in techno kind of sound. They were, they were the her. There's too many other bands <laughs> that like Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, they're competing. You uh, should see Bonnie's two, face, Scott. Two new entries this year. <laughs> Marilyn in. Manson and Korn, they're competing. There's no one else Korn? like craft work. So that to I'm me, with you. I'm with you. All help. right, Bonnie. They, Korn rocks, but come on. I, they, what have they done for me Bonnie, lately? what is your fourth one? Well, my fourth oh. one, of course, is Todd Rudgren. I thought that would be your number one. One. That's my number one. Oh, he okay. I didn't know where in. we were going. We're going he should have gotten one. in this well, yeah. year. He yeah. should have been We were one number of the... three in the vote. Well, I have the a feeling that Todd Rodgers is, Todd was third. is Bonnie's he four, gotten. three, two, and yeah. one. He's anyway. my third. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, well, thank right, you. Four so, for, uh, fourth. I have to come up with a fourth? For Sean? Bad Company. I mean, how many, yeah. Scott, how many That's... millions of people can mention a Bad Company song? Yes. Great how many millions of people can mention one song from The Cure? Right, right. Uh, I, I can't argue with that. I, I mentioned before right. uh, before we started to record, I told Bonnie and uh, and Johnny, 40 years in radio, 25 at DVE, I have never played one note of a Cure song. I've never played one note of a Radiohead song. I'm not saying those artists don't deserve to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but what about the artists that have sold gazillions yeah. of albums right. and have been around since the 70s? And Paul Rogers is not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And Paul yeah. Rogers is in my top Four greatest rock and roll singers Vocals, ever. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, they've done more than Bad Company. I mean, they've they've kind of gone, you know, the firm and all these other things that you know. It's yeah. like the rock and roll oh, tree, the family right. tree, Did which I think is so Queen. important. All right. Yeah. Well, all right. My number four is a punter. Uh, are you guys familiar with Ray Guy, uh, who who kicked for the uh, the uh, Oakland Oakland Raiders? No, you know that the NFL. <laughs> well, hold on, let me let me explain. You know, Laces they out. said uh, <laughs> a punter should not be inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame, but when he is the best in that particular category, you can't keep him out. And like you, I considered Kraftwerk and oh, Captain God. Beefheart and Bjork. Those Aww. are those are just like you know they are. The best in their particular niche. And when you come out niche, and I'm going to say this, and I can't wait for your heads to explode, <laughs> Weird Al is my number four. Oh, Weird Al God. Yankovic? Oh, he, has, no. he has sold 12 no. million. He's had Thanks seven platinum, other... four Grammys. He's still touring. Weird Al, he is the only comedy parodyist if that's a word, that should be inducted. You should I mean, see the, the only looks one. On, you <laughs> My see mouth the looks is hanging on Scott's open. face on Bonnie's face. I'm not hating the idea, but uh, I'm, we're trying to predict who they're going to predict, right? And I don't, well, think, I don't think the Rock okay. Hall of Fame is that creative well, that's and that why clever. Can't they? He's number one on my list, I like but I that. know he's not going to get in. He's a yeah. parody artist. I mean, yes, he doesn't write his own stuff. He just, uh, not that well, all the Motown artists did either, but all he does right. is he makes fun of other people. He doesn't songs. write the music, but he writes his own lyrics. So, all right, moving on to number three. I would go to that induction ceremony to see him do oh, Amish see, Paradise, though. Yeah. See, Sean. Oh, all good. right. No, no. Number three. That's where I have um, Todd Rundgren, yes. Uh, okay. A lot of people were outraged he wasn't in. You could argue as a producer or as a recording artist, so uh, I, I think he's over His body of work certainly, you know, it makes him. Although his tour manager slammed the door in my face once, so I'm oh, kind of hoping he doesn't get you in. Know, he deserves it. <laughs> Mm, thank you. All right. Bonnie, number three. <laughs> Todd Rudgren again. Oh, God. He's going to be every one of my numbers. There's no one else. The Doobie Brothers. Ooh. They've love, never even been nominated. I, I'm, I'm with you on that. They're nope. really oh, a pie on the list. Come on, Doobie whatever Brothers. happened to are you on that, a million Scott? people could name a million different Doobies? Doobie Brothers. I like Doobies. Brothers. Doobies. Yeah. Okay. I mean, right. Sold a million albums. Yeah, I mean, they have so and they have so many different eras. And not even Michael nominated. McDonald and you know all the way back. I mean, they started in the '60s. They were the the the, the uh, bikers band, right? The Hell's Angels. They were their band. Yeah. And then all the different changes they've went through for decades, and really still ha holds up. 
that they haven't even been nominated is so insulting. All right, yeah. my yeah, so number I think four. I question is how influential were they? I mean, you don't hear a lot of people say we have a doobies kind of sound, you know? Okay, well, what does it matter right, if you're influential for rock and roll? It's my fans. bread and it's butter, really meat and potatoes pick. You know, straight ahead rock and rollers. I considered Boston, T Rex, oh, Bad Boston. Company Here with somebody. Go. My number four, the Doobie Brothers. <laughs> it is. I just think, uh, come How on. How can that be overlooked? The, the, Michael the... McDonald should be considered. I don't know if I'd put him into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but he should be considered in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and he was only part of it. it they were the biggest rock band of the 70s. Mm -hmm. How they're oh, not yeah. even nominated. Every is wedding you went to, they played Long Train Running, and I don't <laughs> even know how you can dance to it. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to number two. There's always someone that gets inducted in their first year of eligibility. I'm predicting. Dave Matthews Band. They are eligible. Oh, First yeah. album came out 25 years ago. The fact that they were able to tour and sell out so many uh, amphitheaters year after year after year. Yeah. They, yeah. They, yeah. They That's a good one. Preserved that whole that jam base, that jam rock kind of thing. Took it over from the yeah. Allman Brothers and like Grateful it. Dead. Yeah. All right, Bonnie. I like that, but I'm going to say Todd Redgren. So. <laughs> <laughs> Four votes there, right? Okay. Lou Graham and Foreigner. Ooh. Why haven't Foreigner even been inducted? I mean, Lou Graham really is one of the greatest lead singers in rock. You mentioned Paul it's Rogers, but uh, I, I get it. Lou Graham. I think of the think of the the hits that Foreigner had at least throughout the seventies, and then in the eighties when they did "I Want to Know What Love Is" and oh, what's God. the other ballad that they did? Um, Wait, uh, urgent or, or, uh, um, waiting on a girl like you. Waiting on a girl like you. I want to know what love is. I'm but not why up. people might gag. But on the other hand, Foreigner had a ton of hits in the seventies. Does does the fact that you sold a lot of records matter at all to that <laughs> exclusive, I have my own agenda, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame committee, there's a thousand of them across the country, all, uh, quote, industry types, does anything matter to them besides my own agenda? Well, the, the thing is, uh, seeing them on stage, it's really become a cover band. They are great. They are, that is one of the best cover bands I've seen in the last couple of years. Yeah. They are fun to watch. Um, Mick Jones is still uh, the keyboard. When one. he does show up when he, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, where are we? We're, we're at we're back uh, number to num two. We're number one, all right? Okay, we're back number to number one. one. All right, Scott. I got to go Rage Against the Machine. Uh, the influence, uh, they, they blended rock, they blended hip-hop. They haven't sold a bazillion albums like Foreigner, but uh, they have a, a very ardent fan base and a uh, political kind of thing. I, I know that's going to help. You just Tom wanna... Morello. Tom Morello. Yes, on, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Tom, you yeah. just want to go backstage, right? And one of the best guitarists right? of generation. Uh, yeah. That would be nice, too. But yeah. yeah. No, Tom Morello's fantastic. Uh, there, there I was love a big Rage. Put, they were one of the ones that didn't get voted in this year, and I also heard a lot of people grumbling about that. So. Do you like Jane's Addiction, though, better? I mean, really? They're maybe more entertaining, but uh, okay. I don't know. Rage, I mean, when you Rage brings something sort of out of like me. their whole thing. Okay. Get me fired up. Bonnie, yeah. your okay. number one is... Uh, um, well, is Jay Giles in? Uh, really? You, is, you're going Jay Giles? Five times nominated. Five times the Jay Giles Is that your number been, one? No, but it was going to be I one of my... I know what his number uh, okay. one is. No, I'm going to say Jay Giles. Okay. All right. Yeah. Wow. Uh, my number one is Robert Plant as a solo artist. If Stevie Ooh. Nicks can get in as a solo artist, Robert yeah. Plant should be in as a solo I artist. I thought you'd say right. Boston. Yeah, I. you know what? Yeah, right. Has he even been nominated? Like Boston. I like Boston, but they're one of those bands I've been playing since the minute I got into radio. <laughs> right, yeah. right, okay. If I never hear another Boston song oh. the rest of my life, it'll be too soon. <laughs> I thought I heard, maybe I was dreaming. I thought. But that's an occupational hazard. Yeah. If you yeah. work in oh, radio, sure you is. get burned out on songs. Oh, yeah, I we never do. hear Boston again, that'll be fine. Just, right. just don't look back, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh. Hey, I so. have more than a feeling that that's not going to change. <laughs> oh, God, seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think Boston should be considered. I just don't they think they will. They should be considered. I, I just no don't doubt. think they will. No I don't I just think, don't think they're foreigners better than All Boston. Right. When it comes to if 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 Janet Jackson can get in, if Madonna oh, gets good in, Lord. I've considered uh, you know uh, <laughs> if Diana Ross isn't in, if Tina Turner's not in, well, what, then Carol, uh, my number one is going to be Whitney Houston. I've been Whitney hearing people oh, say that. Oh come on! Yeah. What about uh, chick that worked with uh, James Taylor? Carol King. Carol King. She's not in, right? She is in. She is, She's she is in, in yeah. as a, so, as as a, a songwriter, songwriter yeah. but not as a yeah. performer. Everybody had that album. Well, yeah. but She's not in as a performer, no. Carol King. With, I, I, I know you guys aren't pop was. aficionados, but when you, if, if Janet Jackson can get in, Mariah, uh, I mean, uh, 
Whitney Houston dominated the Four 90s. Yeah. When I was on in Top 40 radio, uh, you couldn't swing a dead cat without playing a Whitney Houston record, especially in the 90s. Ew. She's still kind of the bar they set. Uh, you know, Can she sing as great as Whitney Houston? Few can. Okay, so let's uh, review some of our picks. Uh, what are your four? Mine were uh, Rage Against the Machine, Dave Matthews Band, Todd Rundgren, and Kraftwerk. All right, I think uh, Todd Rundgren and uh, Dave Matthews are, are two of the picks that I think ought to be in. Bonnie, Bonnie. you know Todd my two Rundgren, ticks, Todd, Todd Rundgren, Rundgren, Todd Rundgren, Rundgren, and Jay Giles. <laughs> Come on, Magic Dick. I love Giles. I love Jay Giles. Peter Wolf is awesome, but I don't think I they're going to get in. Oh, and, and yours? Uh, Bad Company, the Doobie Brothers, yeah. Foreigner, and Robert Plant as a solo artist. I like that. I like Robert Plant as a solo. Yeah. I, I don't know Dude. if that's been even I don't considered. have an agenda like the other 999 <laughs> people on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominating committee uh, okay uh mine is whitney houston uh, my number one um uh, the doobies oh i forgot um um uh, <laughs> one of my um judas priest i think judas priest should be at least considered they were nominated the last year i think a couple they, years they were ago, a nominee yeah. last year or two years twice ago. i think i'd love to see that i think the fact that when iron maiden there too many votes will cancel each other out they both I deserve to get I, I agree and then uh, Who votes I get, for nobody's these a, anybody weird al i'm uh, am i the only no, one on the panel weird going weird al I'll, thousand, I'll root for that, but I don't see it happening. <laughs> there's a thousand <laughs> industry types. And, and oh, Little Steven, I, I got to jump, but Little Steven Van Zandt for Bruce Springsteen's band, he is on the board. And I asked him about the Madonna thing. He's a great guy. He's a great interview. Yeah, yeah. I asked him, he said, uh, uh, on the phone, he's like, uh, uh, you know, uh, I can't talk about that. And he starts to laugh. And he said, he said, bro, uh, uh, believe me, that was so ugly so that's all he would tell me about how the rock and roll hall of fame board or the nominating committee when somebody brought up madonna things got ugly and she wound up getting in but apparently against a whole lot of pushback it's so ugly all right very so, i'm uh, in on the ugly some of the ones we agreed on todd runner ought Thank to be you. in uh, yes absolutely doobies. uh i i like dave matthews i think he has I a good shot of being yeah. in the first one uh huge rage against the machine and he's willie know. nelson in Willie Nelson should be in the Rock and Roll Hall. If Patsy yeah. Klein's in, Willie Nelson should be in. I mean, yeah. look, look at the what yeah. he's done for the pot mm. growing well, not industry. Well, that's scary, but Kenny Chesney's also eligible next year too. What? Kenny? Oh, what? What'd you say? Kenny, Kenny Chesney's Kenny Chesney. also eligible. Oh, good lord! <laughs> I'm not Yikes. saying I, I condone that, but uh, hell no, just pointing that out. So Todd Rundgren, uh, Doobies. What are the? Uh, I like Dave. I, Matthews. I would go with Foreigner. Uh, you think Robert Foreigner? Plant is the solo Robert artist. Plant. Bad Company. Oh come I just, on! Oh, I'm with you, but I because I, I think <laughs> Paul Rogers is one of the greatest singers. It's just that they haven't even sniffed Bad Company, which is yeah. which is a shame. All right, I'm gonna go with uh, number four, Robert Plant. I think he should be considered. I don't even think he's been nominated. I think you're right. Yeah, I don't even think he's been on the ballot. Um, well, how many albums? Doobie Brothers, number have? three. At least Dave three. Matthews, five six. Number two, can we? Can we all agree that Todd Rundgren <laughs> should get in? <laughs> yes. Because i got to work with Bonnie. i got to work with Bonnie every day, Monday through Friday. Please, <laughs> can we have a consensus pick that Todd Rundgren should be yes. in in 2020? He's, oh, thanks, he's Sean. Abraham Lincoln on the, your Mount yeah. Rushmore. There we go. Thank That's you. That's it. Aww. Signed, sealed, delivered. The top four nice. inductees in 2020. I guess we'll find out next year, won't you? Scott, Bonnie, John. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Hey! Welcome to the four. One, two, three, four. All right, then.